Stealing from a witch. Yeah, I said it. What could one possibly be thinking? That's the topic of today's video. I don't know. <laughs> um, not surprising, but recently brought to my attention the last couple of days from a lot of my subscribers, some clients, and fellow practitioners here on YouTube that someone is stealing content, stealing videos from YouTube of other witches and posting them as their own. Um, the practitioner is going under the name of Mama Rosa. I don't know, we don't know if that's a man or a woman, there's really no way of telling, but this individual has gone around and has taken content, downloaded content from my video and apparently about 14 to 15 other practitioners that are known of uh, from the YouTube community and is not only posting them as if they are her own or his own, but saying that this person has trained us and that you know you should contact them for spiritual work because apparently we are her trainees i'm gonna say her for the sake of the the individuals under mama rosa and i just want to address that um <laughs> whew. first of all a lot of you that know me that have worked with me some of you i've met in person some of you i haven't because i'm in california but um, I'm very transparent, or at least I try to be with my life, my history, my background, okay? The only individual that I've gotten training from is my mother. My father was a practitioner of the occult. My mother was a practitioner for a very, very, very long time. And everything that I know, everything that I share is either personal spells and recipes passed down from her or through my own research and studies things that I have tried and done on my own and seen success for myself or for, you know, my best friend or a family member and I bring them to you all. Um, I have not been trained with any coven uh, any, under any body. I haven't gone to seek out the help of somebody to, tr to teach me. Um, you know, I have been fortunate enough to be born into the, to a spiritual lineage, to a spiritual path, to a mother that practiced magic. My mother started practicing magic at 14 years old. And um, my mother is well into her, you know, her senior age right now. So that's a long time. So whoever this Mama Rosa is, um, I have no affiliation. I don't know who she is, okay? It's unfortunate because, you know, apparently, again, not just myself, but other practitioners, this person has portrayed as them. So this individual is, is posting videos, making money, uh, accepting clients, scamming people out of money. Um, from what I understand, she's been posting stuff on Fiverr and um, posting her email under these videos. She did have videos up on YouTube, which have now been taken down. Her account was flagged. And I want to, first of all, I want to send a very huge thank you to the individuals who alerted me of this, but also to um, another YouTube channel who they put her on blast. I don't know if other practitioners have done the same thing or not. Maybe I've missed these videos, but this is the main one that has been brought to my attention. So first, I wanna say a big thank you to Amina and Lynette who both inboxed me on Facebook, bringing this to my attention a couple of days ago. Um, you know, I was kinda like, okay, stuff happens, things happen, it is what it is, but this is starting to, to really circulate and I've been getting emails and text messages and messages on Instagram and to come to find out it's it's a multitude of individuals. So that's very um, disheartening that someone would go and steal someone else's content and be capitalizing off of it because they don't believe in magic. Like they don't believe in magic. You can't believe in magic to do this to a group of people that practice witchcraft. Like this is not something that I'll speak for myself. This is not something that I do because I'm bored. This is not something that I do to get attention. I don't go out and buy candles to post pretty pictures on social media. This stuff costs money. This costs time. This costs energy. 
You see what I'm saying? For an individual to take the knowledge that they have, that they know, and to share it with other people just because we want to help you. We want to help you be better at whatever it is that you're doing. We want to help you, you know? This witchy community, it get, again, me, myself, and then I know there's a lot of other practitioners that feel the same way. We share our knowledge because we want to help not for any other reason than that we want to help and yes yeah, some of us um are running businesses and and you know there is compensation for certain things that are done but that's because when you're up at three in the morning casting spells when you're on the phone for two hours with clients crying to you about their situation when you're driving you know 30 40 miles to a botanica to get the supplies that you need when you're special ordering stuff that takes time that takes energy and that takes that takes compassion to actually want to go through that to help somebody else to help another person out of their problem okay the videos that are uploaded on facebook i upload videos because i want to teach people i want to show people that you can do this on your own some people don't have the means or the funds to go to a practitioner and have this done for them others are on their spiritual path and journey and they are learning and they want to cultivate their own magical powers and they want to do it on their own so that's what this is here for youtube is free all this information out there is abundant and we're giving it willingly and freely and someone takes that and and misrepresents us and uses it and then is capitalizing off of it that's not okay not okay at all um some of the other practitioners that were mentioned in the video i don't know all of them some of them i am familiar with i'm subscribed to their channels i have mad respect for them some of them i've reached out to privately on social media just to be like yo i like your work um some of them i don't know but i'm sure that they are all amazing practitioners but um originally this video was sent to me by someone else but the video is belinda Reedy, I think I'm pronouncing her last name correct. I'm sorry if I'm not. The Witch in Love. I know a lot of people are probably subscribed to her channel. And um, her and her, I believe, partner or friend, I'm not sure what their relationship is because I'm new to their channel, but they um, were the ones that uploaded this original video. They called out all the names of everyone who's been affected by it and just was like, yo, this is not okay, spread the word. Some of the individuals mentioned in the video Besides myself, Ashira Star Goddess, Hoodoo Mama, uh, Three Hoodoo Sisters, Lady Grave Dancer, Botanica Havana. I'm subscribed to all of them. Um, I have maybe chatted with them or maybe we may in, be in the same group. So I've looked at some of their videos. And again, there's a whole, this is just half the list. There's a whole other list of subscribers that I don't know, but um, or other practitioners that I don't know. But these are individuals that are dedicated to their craft. They've been on YouTube a while, longer than I have. And they are, again, putting themselves out there and lending their time and their energy and their knowledge to share what they know to help you, to help all of you. So this is, you know, this is very, it's upsetting. It really is, and more so because, to me, I can't even comprehend what would go through the mind of a person to steal from a witch. Like, what are you thinking? You, you Obviously, there's just no regard for magic or spirituality, or you must think that this is a fake. I don't know. But... Um, for everyone else watching this, please share this video. If you know any of these um, practitioners that I have mentioned, these witches, send this to them. Send them an email privately. Let them know that this is happening. I know that some of these other witches have already gone to um, reporting and taking their own action and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we need to get this word out there because people are getting taken advantage of and that's not okay. So, just to make this very clear, um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I do have a Snapchat, but I don't snap very often. I can't figure out how to use the damn thing. It's not that difficult to reach me. Now, I will admit, it takes a long time for me to respond because I'm busy, because I'm working with clients, I'm doing spells, I'm trying to sleep. I have a life. Um, but I'm busy, but I do get back to you. I have two Facebook pages, a personal page, 
and a business page, Mystic at the Crossroads, One Ritual Way, Jasmine Atten, those are mine. I am on Instagram under One Ritual Way and Luna the Psychic Cat. Be sure to follow her. Um, <laughs> this Poodoo Rosa Mama, whatever the hell her name is, I can guarantee you two things. Number one, she's not going to talk to you on the phone. No. And number two, she doesn't have a website set up. My website is One Ritual Away. Dot com. My email is one ritual away at gmail. I post videos. I am very active on Facebook and a little more on Instagram now. I, a lot of you know, I will call you. I have done phone consultations and video consultations with clients. So if she isn't willing to call you, if she isn't willing to send you, you know, communicate over a video chat, a Google Hangout or Facebook Messenger or whatever, that should tell you right there that that is a fraud. I don't know what her email is. Um, it was, it's, it's been posted in other videos, but if it's not Mystic at the Crossroads or One Ritual Way, it ain't me okay it is definitely not me and again I will communicate with certain people you can schedule a consultation I have a studio I do workshops in person people have come and sat down with me face to face so it's not like I'm some person you know on the internet that can't be validated um, I really do exist <laughs> this is a real altar uh, this is a real rich witchy room I, I do genuinely sit down and work with people um, so yeah so whoever this person is, is a fake. And, um, and second to that, I want to address Mama Rosa or whatever your name is, right here, right now, in front of you, God, Goddess, the Spirit, the Universe, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and everybody else who's listening. I am Jasmine Atten, Mystic at the Crossroads. I don't know what in your right mind even thinks for one second that stealing is okay. Much less stealing from a witch. Much less stealing from a group of witches. Clearly you don't believe in magic. <laughs> That's your bad, okay? Stuff like this, I'm a cool person. I don't trip off a lot of stuff and rumors and things like that. But this to me is a personal direct threat. This is a threat on my character. This is a threat to my business and my livelihood. This is a threat to my clients and potential clients that you are taking advantage of. If you think for one second that you are going to get away with this without any consequences, you are mistaken. So let this be known right now. You just fucked with the wrong witch. And I'm coming for you. I am coming for you. Believe that. I'm a firm believer in karma, but sometimes the witch has to be the karma. And this does not sit well with me, and it is not going to fly. Your ass is mine. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Please share this video. And if anyone knows her, <laughs> you better warn your friend. She better stop because it's not going to be pretty. You don't want witches attacking you. You don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. I don't know what the other witch's pedigrees are, but this one right here, I ain't no punk. And Mama Rosa, that ass is mine, and you are going to get it, honey.